Okay, so hi again, especially you who are interested in the code, uh, what's happening here. So I can present to you now um, that we have a GitHub uh, project going on. So um, Saving Caustic, you have the, the, the project Echo, where you can find everything. And uh, I have tried to put some readme files here and there. So in the in the root of the directory, you can see the main objectives and some roadmap and some requirements and like a basic overview of uh, what I'm building here. Um, yeah, and just to get you started, if you download this either through Git or just by, I guess you can also get it just yeah, through a zip. Uh, if you if you're not into developing, so just to to get you you know on the on on the what do you say on the road uh, playing with this, you have uh, when you download it, you have like this directory. Uh, obviously, first a zip file, and then you get the directory. And in this directory, you uh, have a test folder and in order to run these scripts you need to install the PHP environment and why PHP uh, because it's so common I know it quite well and uh, also it's just quite it's C ish in its language and also I think it's faster than than Python and it's perfect to just elaborate with with DSP because you don't have to compile anything. It's not as fast as C, obviously, but it's 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 okay. I mean, it's okay. For example, we have the script. So so the most easy thing to just check if you have PHP installed, PHP, and then you just enter uh, V, and you should get something back. Uh, and so you don't need to run a web server here. You don't not like Apache or anything. Just the PHP language. Uh, so if you do PHP, for example, WAF player um, PHP, that's a test script. We're in a test folder now, so it will produce the WAF player WAV. Now I have a Linux command that lets me play a WAV file just by typing. You may have to play that WAV file starting your media player. So, but if I play that, you you get um, a drum beat. And you get some slight distortion there, right? So if I just um, if I just check that file, um, uh, what's going on here? We have a small spikes here and there, and they shouldn't be there. So something is wrong in the audio rendering. Um, so that's that's for me or someone else to find out because that spike isn't there in the in the input so um, um, and I can do PHP bench PHP and it will render likewise the bench WAV file so if I play that um, and they are very easy to read um, that's like the point of staying in PHP uh, for a while that you can read what's going on here. <clears throat> um, 44, if I, you saw that I rendered these 25 voices that got rendered, I rendered them in uh, 2.35 seconds. If I run this again, but with a lower sample rate, oops, sorry. Yeah, much faster, right? And if I now play that WAV file, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. It's correct. Um, sounds different, but the voices are, are randomized. Uh, so that's not the problem. We can go back and fix that again. So uh, like that. So you can s follow the test script here exactly what's going on. Uh, and how how there's the interfaces of the synths like you set a parameter here and, and then you push the settings uh, and yeah so that's that 
so you can play with these test um, scripts. Uh, apart from the, this, I can just you know guide you around a little because hmm, uh, yeah, if you uh, mainly use uh, scripted language, you, this may be a bit different, but all the files in the source directory will not obviously they will not exist in the in the final uh, compiled binary so um, therefore here no assets or anything should be here uh, only only if, um, code that gets to be compiled a to 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 like yeah to an ex executable um, and uh, so you have the assets folder where stuff that should be available after compilation is uh, available here. So for example, in the synths, and I think we have, yeah, we have something I'm elab elaborating with having uh, like a single source of truth regarding the 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 dials and the names of the parameters and the and the default values in an XML file like this. So here you can see a mock of the subsynth. So this is what I'm you know one of the things that I would like to get in order so they it can render some graphics and also uh, compile this uh, default JSON. Uh, that uh, then could be read from the from the synth. I think uh, it's much it's much easier for for uh, the C uh, program to read JSON than XML. Uh, so that's that's that in the assets folder and the source folder and the test folder. So uh, yeah, and then we have the, some strange stuff here. This folder should probably be inside the Mm, this is not in order. You can you can skip this, uh, <clears throat> and this is me playing with WebSocket server, trying to get that to work. Uh, mm, so, what you need to do, if you if you're interested into that, what you need to do is that you need to start the. Let me do this right. You need to start. The server uh, as a CLI, right? So, server. So that's the WebSocket server. Uh, and then we need like another terminal to start because when we're using WebSockets, we need to switch protocols. So, this is a bit advanced. But if we just do like this, so we start. Uh, the built-in web server for PHP like this. So we host uh, a regular web server. And now, so we have a WebSocket server running already and we are ready to, to uh, receive uh, client requests. So if I, let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. So we have like a WebSocket because somewhere here uh, there's a WebSocket. Uh, it, it establishes so the, it connects to the like the you know the first server we, we started, and this is for playing with how to interact with uh, with this app if. Because the UI elements is really hard to get. Uh, I can't decide on which route to go because Apple is shutting down the GLS uh, and you know there's talk about Vulkan and everything, but I, I'm not into that. Uh, so maybe web-based UI could be good enough at least for a while. Um, so that's that. Um, and also there's a funny little script that you don't need web sockets for, for uh, anything for we can just shut this down um, that is once again you need you do need the regular web server 
but you can instead load the test PHP and this is just playing with uh, drag and drop uh, in a web-based environment. So how is this possible? Well, I'm actually using um, Hammer, I think. Yeah, ha Hammer to, to, to trace that. And uh, it should be, you know, of course, usable on, on, on mobile devices too. So that's just, just uh, elaborating with that. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see what we have more. Uh, the VVV, yeah, that's also a one thing we can play with. So if you start a web server there, um, you get something like this. Uh huh. Why? Oh yeah, it doesn't want to. Like that. Um, <clears throat> what this does is that it tries to run one of the synths and generate uh, a web file that we can we can we can provide notes that we want to play and we can also see the waveform. So here we are just playing that strange uh, and actually this this synth doesn't it ignores these this argument so let's switch to another synth like this one um, and then we get a whole lot of parameters and here you see the point of having like the XML file that I spoke about as a single sort of truth but because then we can like set the default values um, so but this this here is like it's a MIDI note times how many frames um i think one frame here is a uh, thousand samples so uh, it would be i think it's around that i don't remember let's try this didn't work too well did it does it work yeah it does it does work so we can do like this and we can have FM modulation a bit higher and if we can take down the octave and rise the cutoff of the filter we probably get something yeah so there you have it you can play with how the synths behave um, so just start that uh, by running the built-in PHP server. So once again, you don't need to download anything but the PHP. And in order to this, for this graph to work, you need to have the PHP extension GD. Um, it's probably enabled, but just if it, if it doesn't show up, it's just because you need to just add that to, to your installation. Um, and I mean, for what it's worth, have fun with it and just play. Um, personally, I will try to, um, if we go back to the, to this um, route, uh, what I will try to do now is I will try to uh, play with uh, the, something that I have called the Eventor. Uh, that is like a MIDI preprocessor so that you can here is like the you, where you have the arpeggiator or firing notes or doing fun stuff with MIDI events before they go into the synth so I am playing with building one or two events just for uh, yeah to evaluate that um, and uh, this this uh, overview is done. It's also in the in the repository. You can see it created with liberal office draw, and it's here in, in the ODG file. S and everything is available as uh, the license is uh, M MIT. So do what you want for fork or whatever you want. Um, 
and uh, yeah, see you later. And um, remember to have fun. Just remember to have fun. Okay, see you.